Hey everyone, I'm Nog, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Last time we unlocked uh, tiers 3 and 4 by sending our stuff with the space elevator, and we also unlocked coal power. And right here we have a coal miner, which will produce 120 coal per minute uh, as soon as we hook it up. And over here, I have set up our... Uh, coal generators, there are nine of them, the, that's what could fit. I was hoping it could fit ten, but uh, nine is fine. That'll give us 450 uh, megawatts of power, which is, is fine for now. So all we have, really have to do now is hook this up and get it going. So everything is ready, everything is hooked up to power. Uh, all of these are hooked up to the belts and everything. So we just need to get the coal down here. And we're going to do that by building a conveyor lift. So let's see how far out does it need to be. We can build it I think here. I think that'll work. Build it there. No. Nope. A little bit closer. There works. And let's see if that is the height that we need. Oh, I wonder if it's going the wrong way now. Probably is. Let's see. It's also way too high. But what we could do is come out here and maybe we can place it. Nope. What we need to do is remove that and place a crossing. Then we can, I think. We stand here on the edge. Like that. Oops. It actually needs to come from the top and down, I guess. I don't know. Let's try this because it's easier to do it this way. Get it up there. That should work, except that the power pole is quite a lot in the way. So let's move that. This is a little bit tricky. So there. Oh, whoa. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. Uh, that up to that. And hook that. Clips the stone a little bit, but I can live with it. All right. So let's see. Approaching on this clearance. Yeah, it has to go down. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Uh, okay. So how are we going to fix that? We are going to build some foundations. And that's in the way again. It's weird, sometimes when I click F, it immediately goes away again. Okay, let's build a foundation out here. Move that. And I actually, I suppose we need to... What if we build a wall here? Uh, walls, conveyor wall. That. And then come out here. And we then hook this up to the conveyor wall. 
Hmm. This is going to be a problem, isn't it? Crap. How are we going to get it down? Can we rotate this? No. We do like that. Oh, oh, we can do like that. Okay. That works. Do like that, I guess. And can we then remove this? Yes, we can. And we can hook that up. That, yes. Let's make it nice. Man. Um, we need conveyor poles. Put them on five. We don't have the stackable ones yet. I'm looking forward to that. Can it come out like this? I wonder. I think it's a little bit too close. Yeah. So can it come out like? that oh like that nope okay so it's going to have to come out here jesus uh, oops Man, work with me. That works. Not perfect, but it will do. It's there. There. Fantastic. And... We need to build the power pole again, which I don't enjoy doing because it's dangerous. And maybe not. Doesn't have to be dangerous. Put it there. Come down here. Get hooked up to that. That's already hooked up, all right. Good. Can we... Can. Standing. All right. So then uh, all we need to do is give everything some power. Or actually just give this some power because... No, that mount down there doesn't have power yet. There. All right. Let's go take a look at our conveyor lift in action. I haven't seen this yet. Looking forward to seeing how it looks. Go, go. Anything happening? Doesn't seem like anything is happening. Maybe the coal hasn't reached it yet. Come on. There it comes. Yay! It works. The conveyor lift is moving. That is really cool. That is really cool. I love it. I really like the way it looks. Let's uh, go down a bit further and see everything in motion first coal is coming down and coming out standing and it's going in there and that one's firing up yay we have coal power i love it We're going to need to upgrade to Mark II belts uh, when we get those, I think, but that's fine. Not a problem.
This is so cool. Four of the generators are up and running. Five. It's going very slow with the cold, but once uh, the first ones start filling up, uh, then it'll get better. And five running still. Oh, six. Wow. The last one is running as well, seven. So it's only two that are not running now. Excellent. And I built these uh, little safety things here so we don't fall off into the unknown. And I also fixed up the stairs, as you might have noticed. Uh, just before it, they came out weird like this and around and down. Mm. So this is much better. Still two that are not running yet, but they will. They will. How is this looking? It's up to 54. Once that gets uh, filled up to 100, more will start moving down the line. We have another one running now. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I love it. Let's uh, see how much power do we have. 480 megawatts. And it'll go up to 530. Outstanding. We have coal power. And I think it looks pretty cool if we run up here and take a look. Oh, I need to remember not to run over the edge here. Let's just replace this with a corner again so we don't fall down. I think it looks pretty cool that it's hanging there between the two cliffs over the chasm of nothingness. I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Very nice. All right, so coal power, check. That was a big one on the to-do list. So let's get back to the base. Let's just have a look at it from here. I think that's pretty awesome. I'll just uh, do a screenshot. That is very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, enough gawking at that. We need to get moving. So I think the next thing will be, because we do have our trucks or the, the tractors now. So we need to make some, some truck stations. Let's see, what do we need to make truck stations while we're running here? Uh, vehicles. Truck station, let's just put one of them on here. Need a lot of modular frames, some rotors, some cable. Okay. Let's just grab the wire out of here so it continues producing. And we can actually kill all of this now. They are not needed anymore. Take the biofuel out of these. No room. Uh, or some of this that we already have. Okay, grab the biofuel out of those. We do not need them to run, and we might as well save the biofuel. There we go, and this can come down. It would be nice if you could kind of have the biofuel in there and just have them as backup. So if 
something goes wrong somewhere else, the the biofuel ones would start up. But that's not in the game at this time. Maybe it will be someday. Let's see, we need a lot of modular frames for that. We need screws. Don't we? No, we don't. Why can I only make... Oh. So, yeah, we do need screws because we need to make reinforced iron plate. Let's just get up to... Say... 30 reinforced iron plate. And then make reinforced iron plate there. And then make modular frames. And this isn't even enough for two truck stations. Let's just make the seven that we need for one then. For now, because I want to see how big they are. Uh, I don't really remember how big they are. Let's get up here. Have a look. Build one. Four is too steep. Okay, so they fixed it for some things, but not for these. Build one there. And there is room for, see, this will be unloading, just remember, and then we can stick it in there. Ooh, I would like to line it up with the window as well. And then we can stick conveyor lift in and get it going up like so or something. And can we Oh, why won't it connect? That seems a little bit silly. Okay, let's try that again. Without one, I guess. Isn't it lined up there? It is. But it won't go in, so we need to pull back one at least. This is just to see if we can get it working. Still doesn't work. What the hell? Why won't it go in there? Isn't it perfectly lined up? Yes, it is. Why won't it go in? Man. You're ruining all, ruining all my plans, game. My well-thought-out plans. So if we do like that, then will it go in? Yes. Uh, let's remove the truck station again and build a new one. Be that way. And I want that to be right there. And I can't build the wars too deep. Man, okay, 
let's try over on this one then. There we can. All right, so it'll come in there, there. And can we run behind this? Yes. But this means that we'll have to make them too wide, which annoys me a little bit because that seems like an awful waste of space. Or no, we don't because we can just not use. So if this was a, a wall conveyor like that, then we could just build over here. Stop that. And that will go in there now, right? Yes. All right. So it'll be a bit of a maze in here, but that's uh, that's okay. We won't be going in here very often anyway. Uh, so, all right. This will work. This will work. Outstanding. And that means how many spaces is this using? We could move it closer, which I want to do. Uh, vehicles, truck station. That one. Or something like that. Because that will still allow, let's just test it out, this to come out and that's a little bit annoying, but this is why there's approaching others clearance. Hmm. So maybe that's a little bit too close. Stand on our spot again. Because for some of them, okay, never mind. Because what we'll do is we will uh, get coal uh, moving over here and be stored over here as well. And then we will send it down and out and into the, uh, the, the fuel depot here. On each of the um, on each of the truck stations, so yeah. And how is the clearance here? Fine. It's actually pretty perfect. Good. So we will have truck stations lined up here, and then on the other side as well. And that means, let's see, one, two, three, so three wide, one, three, that means that we need these here as well. Hopefully we'll have room for we can make it a little, we can make it a little bit wider if we want so it's fine it's fine this needs to be just one wider then we can have truck stations all the way here as well 
We do need to be able to turn and get out somehow. We might need to make it quite a bit wider, actually. Now come in like this, or actually, I'll come in here and then turn in their truck station and come out and come out here somehow. All right, it's something that we need to figure out. But I think it's a pretty cool idea if we can get it to work without the trucks ramming into each other or every time they're here and stuff. Because this is going to be busy with trucks. There's going to be a lot of trucks here. There's going to be a lot of trucks here coming in. And I actually think the first thing we need to do is go find some more coal uh, so we can hook that up and get that sent over here and stored up. Yeah. That's what we need to do. Okay. So we have a plan, sort of, and we got coal power going. We'll get the truck stations working somehow. Uh, just need to be a little bit clever about it. And we need to remember that the trucks, they can, they can theoretically fit on one. But it would probably be wise to give them two foundations. Which means we need four. Uh, okay, we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Yeah, uh, but uh, we're going to figure that out in the ne next episode. We are going to go find some more coal and we are going to set up our first tractor route to get uh, coal coming in here to feed our uh, trucks and tractors. And then I think we also need to unlock some stuff. Um, let's see, what is the next thing that we want? I mean, personal storage would be pretty nice. We can actually just do that right now. Because five extra inventory slots is outstanding. We should get jump pads going as well because it'll be a lot easier to jump up and down here than to have to climb all the time. Uh, so jump pads is a maybe logistics mark two. We definitely want. We definitely want that. So that is the first thing that we're unlocking. And then we have steel production, Ooh, improved melee combat. That would also be very nice. And logistics mark three would be very nice. Also for the industrial storage containers. Because those I want to use. Yeah. So, uh, but we will uh, take a look at all of this in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe. And I will see you next time.